Morong, officially the municipality of Morong, Tagalog, Bayan ng Morong, is a second-class municipality in the province of Rizal, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 58,118 people. A popular attraction is Spanish-era St. Jerome's Parish Church. The town is also known for featuring the Bala Bala side dish, as well as for having education as its priority. Una ang edukasayan. Education first, that is why during the early 1970s and early 1990s, it became the center of education. Students from different places mostly in the nearby towns of Rizal would come and study in Morong. History Morong was considered the province before it was called Rizal. Its original name was Politico Militar Distrito de Morong, which included the towns that make up present-day Rizal province. Discovery, founding and Christianization On January 16, 1572, Captain Juan Maldonado, a trusted officer under Martin de Goiti, a deputy of Miguel López de Legazpi, came to a thriving community by a river while leading a Spanish contingent exploring the areas east of Manila. They named the community, Moron, after a township in Spain. This happened almost a year after Martin de Goit occupied Manila after routing the forces of Raja Solomon Suleiman, the Spaniards found an organized community along both banks of the river but outlying settlements, barangays were in conflict with each other. The barangays were subjugated and the natives Christianized starting 1578 by Franciscan missionaries Juan de Placencia and Diego de Oropesa. They constructed chapels visitas, attached to a bigger settlement to allow religious and civil administration. Later, this settlement was converted into a pueblo, which they called Pueblo de Moron. The letter G was added to Moron as years passed. Barras, Tanay, Palia, Cardona, Binangonan and Teresa were the visitas under Pueblo de Morong. Pueblo de Morong was made the provincial capital of the Franciscan order at that time. The visita of Piling separated from Morong and became the independent town of Palia. Binangonan followed in 1621. Politico Militar Distrito de Morong The Politico Militar Distrito de Morong or Distrito de Morong was created out of the provinces of Manila and Laguna composing the pueblos of Morong, Palia, Tanay, Barras, Binangonan, Jalayala, Angono, Antipolo, Boso Boso, Cainta, and Taytay. During the Spanish colonization in the Philippines, each town pueblo was administered by a gobernador solo, elected annually by all natives of the locality, subject to the approval of the Swearier government and located in Manila. In the 19th century, gobernadorcillos were elected by 12 cabezas de barangay. In the pueblo of Morong, it was different. A gobernadorcillo was not elected but was appointed by the governor of the province based on his economic wealth, training, and educational background. He chose his own people and were not elected to help him with his duties. They did not receive salary but were exempted from paying taxes and doing forced labor. Public works built under forced labor Puente de San Geronimo The original bridge of Morong was made of adobe stones, shaped and placed together, forming an arch over the river. The strength and stability of the bridge came from the weight of its wedge-shaped stone blocks and its upright position. The stones were cemented with mortar, a mixture of fine sand, lime, molasses and juice of ground puso puso leaves. Heavy piers of the arch were planted on the opposite banks of the river. No metals were used during its construction from 1696 to 1701. St. Jerome Parish Church This church was constructed not only by men, but also women and children. Stones dug from a hill called Kngaya, lime from the stones of the mountain Kamaputi, sand and gravel from Morong River, and timber were contributed by the townspeople. Irrigation works in 1850, Fr. Maximo Rico drew the plan of the irrigation dam at Yugong where it drew water from the falls and supervised the construction of the irrigation canal from Yugong Dam to the ricefield in San Pedro. The canal measured 501 meters long and 2.1 meters deep. Other sources say that the construction started by Franciscan priests in 1848. Commandancia 
During the period of Spanish colonization, this building housed the Comandancia del Distrito Político Militar de Morong, the seat of government for the distrito. It was original made of adobe stones, hard wood and galvanized iron sheets for roofing. During the early American period, it was converted into a school. It was damaged after the Second World War, but rebuilt with alterations and continued to be used as a primary school building. It was later torn down and rebuilt using reinforced concrete materials and used as the municipal office building for the government of Morong. In 2011, the local government offices were transferred to the new municipal building in a different location. The Comandancia's second floor has since been converted into a municipal museum. Bantayan and Torida Bantayan was a small guardhouse where civil guards were stationed at the entrance of the town. On the other hand, a torida was a small tower with bells that provided the signal directed to the central station in front of the Comandancia. World War I Tomas M. Claudio a Morong native is listed as a hero in the Philippines. The first Filipino to die in World War I was Private Tomas Mateo Claudio who served with the U.S. Marine Corps as part of the American Expeditionary Forces to Europe. He died in the Battle of Chateau Thierry in France on June 29, 1918. The Tomas Claudio Memorial College in Morong Rizal, Philippines, which was founded in 1950, was named in his honor. The main street of the town was also named in his honor. World War II the Puente de San Geronimo Old Morong Bridge was intentionally blasted by the guerrillas so that Japanese troops could not cross and occupy the northern part of Morong and Rizal until reinforcements could come. The plan worked for a few days but Japanese troops were eventually able to cross the river at a shallower part farther down river. During the liberation, Filipino troops of the 4th and 42nd Infantry Division of the Philippine Army and 4th Constabulary Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary including the recognized guerrillas of the call. Markings guerrillas and the hunters ROTC guerrillas liberated and captured the towns in Morong, defeated Japanese forces and forced them to surrender by the end of the war. Barangays Morong is politically subdivided into eight barangays with three situated in the Poblacion. Bombongan Caniogan Calero Lanang Lagundi Mayboncal San Guillermo, San Gilmo San Pedro, Poblacion San Jose, Poblacion San Juan, Poblacion. San Guillermo In terms of area, San Guillermo or San Gilmo as locals known is the biggest of the eight barangays of Morong. It borders the towns of Binangonan, Teresa and Tanay. San Guillermo is a farming community with a population of 6,522 and 1,377 total dwellings 2000 census. While majority in the barrio depend on farming as a livelihood, many others are engaged in businesses like garment industry, poultry and piggery. San Isidro Labrador is the patron saint of San Guillermo, a feast in his honor is celebrated annually 15 May. In 2005, the small chapel of San Isidro Labrador became a full-pledged parish in the Diocese of Antipolo serving 10,500 Catholics. Also in 2005, San Guillermo National High School was established. The first wave of San Guillermo immigrants to America came in the early 1900s. San Guillermo natives living in California maintain their cultural heritage by hosting a gathering on Memorial Day in celebration of Feast of Patron Saint San Isidro Labrador. Most San Guillermo natives live in the metropolitan areas of Los Angeles and San Francisco, and the feast is alternately celebrated in both cities since its conception in 1979. Mayboncal A barangay in Morong Rizal, located in the east of the town. The main industries are farming, textile manufacturing, and food industry. There are about 8,709 people who live in this area and the ratio of men to women is 1 to 2. San Juan 
Barangay San Juan is the center of business and trade in the town of Marang Rizal. It is also said to be the highest remitting income revenue in the whole barangay of the town. This is where famous establishments are seen such as Jollibee, Marang Centerpoint, SM Savemore, RCBC Savings Bank, UCPB Savings Bank, DIY Hardware, Mercury Drugstore, and Mang I Nasal. Other local establishments found in this area are Thriftmart, former, Ronin Grocery Store, Camillus Chicken, Mateo's Bookstore, Marang Doctor's Hospital, Rizal Provincial Hospital, Hernandez Bookstore, Irwin. S. Boutique, Skin Cellants de Rizal, Supreme Care Medical Diagnostic and Imaging Center Inc., Cesar S. D. Mateo Memorial Clinic, and Cristina Mart. The facade of the St. Jerome's Church, a Department of Tourism recognized tourist spot is also located. San Pedro Barangay San Pedro is the capital barangay of Marang, Rizal. Barangay San Pedro lies adjacent with the Laguna Bay in the east, bounded at the south with the town of Cardona, on the west by Barangay Bombongan and on the north by Barangay San Jose and Barangay San Juan. Barangay San Pedro has a total land area of 368 has, and around 7,000 populations as of 2010 census. As a Poblacion Barangay, the seat of local government of Morong are located here. Barangay San Pedro has many establishments such as Morong Public Market, Sea Oil Gasoline Station, Phil Oil Gasoline Station, Aldec Agri Dynamics Company, Era Plaza Restaurant, Emma's Panchiteria Restaurant, Kamalig Restaurant, Kainan, Inuman, at Iba Pa Beer House. Sabungan. AMA Bank, Macro Bank. Barangay San Pedro is the center of education in Morong. There are many educational institutions that can be found in this barangay namely San Pedro Day Care Center, Jose S. Mapa, St. Clair School, Jesus My Shepherd Montessori School, Renaissance School of Science and Technology, East Systems Colleges of Rizal, Inc., and Timoteo A. Reyes Elementary School. Barangay San Pedro has many beautiful landmarks such as Morong Town Plaza. Statwa ng Magsasaka, and Puking Bado, Sa Boulevard Park. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Morong, Rizal, was 58,118 people, with a density of 1,500 inhabitants per square kilometre or 3,900 inhabitants per square mile. Religion 60% of the population in Morong Rizal is composed of Roman Catholics. Other religions in town are the following Columns list 2 Iglesia Filipina Independiente Iglesia Ni Cristo United Methodist Protestant denominations Members Church of God International Church of Animasola Jehovah's Witnesses The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Morong Bible Church Morong Christian Church Grace City Church Church of Christ Sovereign Reformed Christian Church Reformed Baptist Landmarks Yugong Park, during the early 60s early 80s Yugong Park was known for its breathtaking view of the rice fields, different birds can be seen and its majestic waterfalls. It is usually a summer spot for families. Yugong means echo, because of the strong current of the falls it makes a loud echo or sound. People from the town usually wash their clothes there, even water carabaos also takes a dip during the hot summer months. Yugong Park now has a resort made and owned by a local artist named Rafael Pacheco, who is known not only locally but internationally because of his paintings. His medium for his paintings are his fingers. The resort does not use the old falls anymore, instead two pools were made, inside the resort you can view the now-dead waterfalls and its river. 
Interesting in the new Yugong Resort are the displayed collection of paintings and sculpture of Mr. Pacheco, Puking Bado, also called Duckling Society Park, located at Natividad Street at Boulevard Ibabadulo. Famous for its beautiful scene. Many people in Morong likes to go here early morning, to do some jogging, chatting. Cavalier statue, located at Maybancol Morong. Morong's old municipal office, located in Brigi San Pedro, near the town plaza. This building was the former seat of office of the governor of Rizal during the Distrito Politica de Morong, also known as the Comandancia. Resorts, Casita de Salvador, Vista Grande Resort, Alamaris Resort, Sulac Resort, St. Jerome Parish Church, the most notable landmark in Morong Rizal. Built in by Chinese craftsmen during the arrival of the first Spanish priest. It is known for its unique and intricate neo-baroque style design and its three-story belfry as its facade. Culture and tradition Fiesta, the celebrated fiesta in Morong is the town fiesta, which is the first Sunday of February. During the early times, February would be known for the harvesting month in the town, it is a form of celebration and thanksgiving for a bounty harvest. Catholic Fiesta, the patron saint of Morong, Rizal is Saint Jerome. A doctor of the church, a priest and translator of the Bible. His feast day is September 30. Pabasa, a holy week activity, which is chanting the life and passion of Christ. It signifies the start of the 40 days before Holy Week. In the town of Morong, not an ordinary pabasa tone is used, but it's mostly a tone of sadness and agony. This is done from different houses, who owns a santo, or a saint that is an image used during Holy Week. Cordero, it is only in Morong that this tradition has been done for almost 60 years. Cordero, which means Lamb of God, is a reenactment of the preparation of the Paschal Lamb for the Passover meal, that Jesus and his twelve apostles took, and eventually became the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Cordero also symbolizes Jesus as a sacrificial lamb who suffered to redeem mankind from sin. In Morong a lamb which is made of sweet potatoes and potatoes is processioned before the Maundy Thursday Mass. A tradition which is also being copied by other nearby towns of Rizal, and has been featured in the national newspaper. The hermano represents the owner of the upper room, the place where the Last Supper took place. Pabasang Bayan, a yearly event, exhibit that showcases the 40-plus processional images, that started in 1996. Said event is usually done the Saturday before Palm Sunday in the town. S gymnasium wherein a breathtaking tableau is made yearly showing the chronological events of the life of Jesus e.g. 1996-1997 Last Supper, 1998 Wedding in Canaan, 1999 The Multiplication of Bread and Fish, 2004 Jesus Teaches in the Mountain, 2005 The Teaching of Christ in the Lake of Galilee, 2006 The Public Ministry of Jesus, 2007 the Baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan, 2008 Jesus in the Temple, 2009 The Calling of the Twelve Apostles, 2010 Jesus Calls the Tax Collector Matthew, 2011 Jesus Healed the Centurion's Servant. 2012. Jesus Healed a Paralytic Man. 2013. Sermon in the Mount, a must-see attraction that is first done by the people of Morong, that has captured the attention of some nearby towns in Rizal and Metro Manila such as Palia, Tanay, Cardona, Baras, Teresa, Binangonan, Cainta, Pasig City, Quezon City, etc. The event was even featured thrice in the Philippine Daily Inquirer a national newspaper in the Philippines and was covered by national networks such as ABS-CBN, TFC, the Filipino channel ABS-CBN, GMA Network and GMA News TV former QTV Channel 11. The difference between the usual Pabasa and Pabasang Bayan is that the whole town is welcome to this event. Saturday night before Palm Sunday, anticipated mass is held in the gymnasium. Sinakolo, a yearly activity during Holy Week, a dramatization of the life and death of Christ. Sinakolo in Morong is entitled, Ang Tagapaglitis. The play is divided into three nights. It starts in the evening of Holy Wednesday and ends on Good Friday, usually after the procession. 
On the first night it tells the brief story of the Old Testament starting from the creation, Adam and Eve, the giving of the Ten Commandments, the fall of Sodom and Gomorrah, annunciation of Mary, birth of our Savior, and ends in the finding of Jesus in the temple. On the second night it tells the teachings, public life and ministry of Jesus, and ends in the planning to kill him by the priests. Third night the most dramatic scenes are seen, such as entry to Jerusalem, institution of the Eucharist, his agony in the garden, the stations of the cross, his death and ends in his resurrection. Cruz na Mahal, the reenactment of the finding of the cross of Jesus by Reina Elena and Principe Constantino. Each barrio will prepare a small caro with a cross. They would go around the place singing the Cruz na Mahal song. Cruz na Mahal, Cruz na Mapalad, Ang de Keeling Armas, Bandala ni Cristo, Sumakop sa Lahat. After the mini procession, the children present will be given lengua de patatas. Flores de Mayo, an old tradition of Morong that has been banned since the early 80s up to present as it became a fashion show and where the rich and the famous could show off in the town of Morong. The real purpose used to be for the veneration of the Virgin Mary. Girls from Morong, ages 6 to 30, would offer flowers and prayers to the Blessed Mother. Girls included in this procession would also bring the seven allays for the Blessed Mother such as, Rosa Mystica, Torre ni David, Crown of Mary, Gates of Heaven etc. This tradition is attempted to be revived again by the Catholic Church in the year 2007 through voting, but comments such as the main purpose of it might again not be done and the fashion show and showing off would once again reign. The Church decided to just make it a simple celebration, by doing a rosary and offering flowers to the Virgin Mother. Malatines, is a Christmas Eve Mass or usually called Misa de Gallo by other places. December 24, usually celebrated outside the church patio. The much-awaited scenario in the Mass is the dancing of the star. Wherein a big peril comes down, from the top of the main façade of the church down to the bell and located in front of the altar, while singing, Gloria, or Papuri. Casalan or wedding, in the town of Morong Rizal, there is a different way to celebrate a wedding or in Filipino, Casalan. In other towns such as Batangas they have the money dance, wherein the couple would do their first dance, and visitors would approach them and pin money. In Morong Rizal, a tradition of Panganga is done to help the couple start themselves. The couple accompanied by an old member of the family with a lighted candle, they would go to each table with a basket, the candle symbolizes the guiding light of the couple. As the couple approach each table, visitors would put their donation and sip a shot of whiskey or wine as a thank you. The basket has a green cloth inside to cover the money given, so that the couple would not know how much the visitor would put. Another tradition during weddings would be the Katiran, or wherein the bride accompanied by her parents would now transfer house. It's like a formal farewell of the bride to her house as she will transfer to the groom's house. What's exciting in this tradition is that each light post, electric post that the couple would pass through going to the groom's house, the newlyweds would kiss each other. This is appropriate if both the bride and the groom are from Morong Rizal. Artistry Morong is also known for its Kayas Kawayan. The town is the first and is known to make beautiful balu wardas, an art made of bamboo, with intricate designs. Usually used during special events such as weddings, cordero, and fiestas, it's usually found in the entrance gate of the event. During Cordero, the lamb which is made of cake, sweet potatoes and potatoes, is placed and processioned around the town until the church in a small kaya's kawayan, carried by men, adorned with flowers. Now this art is being copied by the nearby towns. Games Some of the famous games in Morong, Rizal are the following. This dates from the 1940s to 1997. Putidiro, it is also called Patintero. A famous Filipino street game. Wherein the it person stands in a line, and the other person should cross that line without getting touched by the it. Hulagong Ginto, popular night game especially during full moon. Pasanordan, follow the leader game. The leader would shout, Pasanordan. The players will say, Kambento. Then the leader will say his command. Unahan sa pagbigay sa akin ng dehan. 
Bring me a leaf, the players will ask. Anong Dehan? What kind of leaf? Once the leader states his command all player will look for that kind of leaf. The first one to bring the given leaf would be the next leader. Paddy Cobra, Paddy Cobra, Morong, San Guillermo, version of baseball and cricket, uses bamboo stick as paddle or bat. Espadahan Jopalopan, it is a game which uses balls, specifically marbles. Stekanopan, Stick em up in. a western cowboy gun game. Tagon, is also known as hide and seek. It is a popular game which usually played during full moon. Diraids, popular games by school kids in 60s and 70s, particularly in San Guillermo. Sikaran, originated in Lagundi and Baras. References External links Website of Morong, Rizal Radio San Guillermo Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System